Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. We're on Beta 18, right? I think so. And we're in the Lumber Mill, so-called, because to do absolutely anything, we've got to cut down like 30 trees. Um, and actually, I just started this recording, I, I'd unpaused, I started chit-chatting about things, and then all of a sudden, these guys walked into my base, because I forgot that last episode, we ended on the start of an attack. So I was like, oh, hold on, hold on, well, uh, I'm gonna go and do that, because it is a couple of days later. So I'm just reloading here. This is like, right, we've got people coming. Maybe I should wake up my dudes. I don't remember, is BLC a, um, a pacifist? No, he's kind, but he's not armed. Okay, well, let's do something maybe about that. I actually don't know. Oh, there we go. Yeah, uh, no, you are incapable of violence. Oh, there! I was looking at the traits. Derp, derp, derp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you keep going there. Um, you with the knife, are you actually a brawler? No, you're very good at meleeing. But that's about it. Do you not have... Did we not nickname you? Uh-oh. Okay. Oh! Were you being pursued? Sorry, it's been a couple of days, and I don't quite remember what the heck the deal was. Uh, we'll get you sorted out in just a moment. Now, we don't have any sandbags set up on this side yet. I think what we're going to do is use some of the corners of the buildings um, as cover. We've got the doorway and everything. We can do that. So if you stand, say, there, that's going to be all right. You got a shorter range weapon, so it's going to work out. Um, you with the pistol are going to go there for sort of shooting in the back. And, yeah, you're going to go and stand right there. Okay, you got a bow. And bow's got pretty good range, I have to say. But I wonder if it can shoot. Oh, there's, uh, the trees are really being a bit of a problem here. All right, go. Okay, you're going to walk that way to do that? Okay, that's, oh, you've got range, actually. Why don't you just, no. Ugh. Just stop where you are. Who needs treatment? Oh, right. Our people have, like, sleeping sickness or something, right? Oh, that's such a pain in the ass. Alright, I'm going to get you to run back here after all. Got it. It's, everything's moving so slowly. I can't remember if the solar panels can be used a bit as cover. I'm not sure that they can. Uh, we're going to hold that open. There you go. At least the meleeers are moving up now. It's going to make it a little easier. Because we can take out a few of those and then the others might run away. Yep, one of your people died. Another person died. Alright. Accuracy for everyone should be pretty bad here. I'm going to move Azace out of the way so that they can't shoot at him. And we might just have a bit of a range advantage. We might be able to like come around and do something behind here. Um, but it uh, Go back to standing here. We'll see. Oh, you got bad thoughts because you're seeing a dead body. Yeah, but, you know, it's another guy. Nice. Okay, I think we can just go and unrecruit everyone. Um, we will strip down the bodies. We will go and unforbid everything just for some of the random weapons that might be out and about. And let's double check here the doctoring. Yeah, we've got a few people who can take care of some stuff. You're going to tend to Lucas. Yeah, who I guess needs to be nicknamed. Um, I need to bring up my spreadsheet. Do, 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 do. Man, with the sleeping sickness and everything, this is going to be a little bit annoying. Uh, open you. Thank you. Scroll down. So our next name for Lucas here, you are going to be Fabian. Welcome to the party, buddy. And actually, I'm going to do the thing where we put you on fight back mode um, on this map. I think that's going to work out fairly well. So we do have a pretty big kind of spread out base for the number of people that we've got here. And I'm worried that um, just like sort of what happened on the last map, I'm worried that it might lead to a little bit too much, um, you know, running around and movement and stuff. And that might hurt our efficiencies a little bit. I don't know. We'll worry about that later. Um, I did 
tweak the, the work priorities here just to try to get the research a little higher. And I'm going to do the thing where we leave the buffer so that, you know, we can just call in a one when we need it um, as a higher priority. Although mathematically, this is working out basically the same as the way that I used to organize it. But the problem is, with half our people with sleeping sickness, not a whole heck of a lot's going to happen right now. Uh, we're mostly going to be chill. Uh, but that's okay. We've got enough beds right now. Uh, we still want to work out and get, um, like, uh, maybe a permanent hospital, a permanent prisoner room, um, some guest quarters, for example. But that's part of what's going to happen over here with all the flooring that we've got set up. We also set up some new uh, growing stuff over here. I think this is... Is this a hauling job? Now, what I could do... And I didn't realize this, because there's, like, the expando thing, which is too insane. But I didn't realize you could um, control-click this to get the expand. This is one of the mods. And so what I could do is raise the priority and say something like, listen, burying corpses is always a super high number one priority. Well, tell you what, strip, then bury corpses is going to be super high priority. And maybe, like, refuel buildings. Um... So it's a little deceiving because most of these priorities are actually at a three. But we do actually have some super urgent jobs, like getting rid of all these corpses whenever possible. Um, I'm just going to reset this because actually, because of the order I did things in, I was going to say, yeah, um, it wasn't stripping first, but now it'll strip, then bury. So it'll be a little confusing because it'll look like a one, but most of the things in the hauling is actually a three. But I think, like, hauling corpses is an appropriate, like max priority kind of thing of course i mean i could just you know manually do it especially since you can shift q jobs um in uh in beta 18 here which is spiffy our kitty cat's still going around our three-legged no-tailed kitty cat still going around just fine uh you're gonna feed some meals over here you're so you just have the sleeping sickness right yeah immunity 40 percent i mean it's something our people get through it That'll be okay. <clears throat> oh, right. I do have a little guest quarters over here as well. Which I think is fine. We'll probably stick some extra beds in there soon. Uh, what is this? Marble? Do we have a marble block? No. because be, You don't have to do this corner because it's still sealed in, but wouldn't it look better if it were um, just squared off a bit? So we'll have to wait until we get some marble blocks. No one's naked. No one's wearing any tattered clothes. So we don't have to freak out too much about the tailoring. That's okay. <clears throat> Alpaca is asleep over here. Who's got the minor break risk? Oh, you. But, I mean, very ugly environment. It is pretty bloodied. Alberoni, can I get you to just come in here and just clean the dirt? Since, you, since you're already up. Actually, I guess you're awake. I forget. You're just, like, resting in bed. But there's no reason... <clears throat> I couldn't get you to get up and clean your own goddamn room. Fabian is meditating over here. I think, you know what, we'll just get you... Come over here. Clean the room a little bit. Gonna consume a meal, harvest some potato plants. There. Um, I do want you to har... Oh, there we go. Alberoni, what are you doing? You're going to rest. Before you do that, can you, like, clean your room? Excellent. So you can be a little less miserable... Bedroom, decent, nice. And that's even before we build all the furniture. <clears throat> little repair over here. That's good. I actually wonder if we want to... Um, oh, well, first of all, I should get some sandbags over here or clear some sort of firing zone from this angle. We got a mad animal. It's a wild boar. That might actually be a little bit more dangerous than some of these. Uh, let's get everyone to just set up over here. I know that BLC can't fight, but where the hell are you pathing to? That's actually slightly annoying, because you're going to be freaking close, but okay, we're fine. Um, do, 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 do. I was going to say something before that happened, and now I do. Oh, yeah, the sandbags and stuff. I wonder, should I line it up here? I'm just trying to figure out, like, I guess this is too narrow to really fit a room in here. So this actually might be a great place to build some defenses. Um, you know, just a handful of sandbags right there. And I'm wondering if we need to keep some of these trees clear for some sort of... Just a little firing space. We might want to set up a row of sandbags there as well. Which means, you know, we can't use all the space for a room, but it's probably a good idea. I don't know how much the trees get in the way. It's clear that they get some in the way. And we might even want to set up, like, the sandbag wall, sandbag wall, sandbag wall kind of thing or something like that. But for now, this is going to be sufficient. At least the sandbags do build really quickly. 
All right, so you're butchering some stuff. How are we doing on meals? We don't have a ton. Ooh, we have a lot of meds here. Um, I'm going to put a... Maybe a haul urgently on the meds. And that. <clears throat> Just get indoors before it rots, because that would be quite bad. Fabian doing some cleaning. Excellent. Uh, I did set Fabian to be... He, like, Fabian basically doesn't have a whole heck of a lot going on. I did put his... Um, uh, right over here. He's cleaning above his research. Again, that one's a little misleading. We got some visitors, possibly with some stuff to trade. We could certainly consider that. Who's our talkie-talkies? Um, Asace over here. I know you got sleeping sickness, buddy, but go over here and see what you can do for a trade. Um, uh, there's so much stuff. You don't have much money. You would overcharge us for survival meals, but, you know... You actually sell medicine for a decent rate, which is okay. And we could sell you, say, one packet of Lucy. And get rid of some of this stuff. Maybe maybe stripping people down isn't as important as I think. There you go. We'll do something like that. So we get one medicine out of it. And a little bit of silver. Sure, that's fine. More importantly... More importantly, do we want to recruit any of these people? Steadfast Night Owl, with no real injuries. You're young, so you don't have a ton of passion for stuff, but that's okay. Faction Goodwill's only at a two. Still, we can recruit one person without breaking that. Staggeringly ugly. All right, well, we'll hold off on you. We'll just try to recruit the one. Um, volatile, yeah. And, oh my god. Yeah, you are, you are in rough shape there. How old are you? 81. Yeah, you are in rough shape, but maybe we can recruit Solek. And that'll be okay. Hopefully these guys will have a good stay as well, so we can raise some faction goodwill. But yeah, even if we recruit one, it's not going to break anything. So yeah, we're clearing a little bit of space over here. We'll have to see if there's any overhead mountain stuff. Yeah, you just need your sleeping sickness burnt off. What is that? Oh yeah, that's your medic's bandana. Do we want to force someone to wear it? And if so, who? Well, Jutlander, or Jutlander, over here, people have said it's actually kind of maybe an English name, and they can just pronounce it like that. I don't know. Um, I don't know how the user would prefer their name to be pronounced, is the problem. Uh, does have double passion for doctoring. So, I don't know. Let's tell you what. Let's force you to wear that. Done. I don't suppose... What did this thing? Gaudy Tribal Mask. Did you have any perks? Still have the social chat impact, and actually is pretty good defensively. Whereas I assume this thing is actually not very defensive at all. Yeah, not really. It does give you a bonus to medicine stuff, though. Hmm. I mean, I suppose I could turn off everyone else's medicine most of the time, or just... I, I don't know. 7% is very, very significant in terms of a boost to medical care. But not getting shot in the head is possibly more significant. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to just uh, actually tell him to just drop it and then equip whatever the heck you want. I think that might be fine. Alright, well, man, without the sleeping sickness, uh, or with the sleeping sickness, we're definitely having some issues. You're just chilling. That's fine. Are you sick too? Yeah, you are also sick. People are spending a little bit more time in bed than we might prefer, but that's okay. That's okay. They'll get over it. We got that. We got lots of critical stuff. These cobras scare the crap out of me. We might want to make sure that um, that boar gets brought in a little bit faster so it doesn't deteriorate. <clears throat> what I could do is on people with cooking duty, which is only one right now. But this is, this is the highest priority thing that Jutlander is going to do, other than burying bodies. He's going to cook. And I could put butchering as... Ah, oh yeah, you're going to do it while well, you're doing a haul is what you're doing, but that's okay. Um, yeah, because you got no material to cook, so you're going to be doing this regardless. Um, I could explicitly put the butchering job at, like, a one. Again, like, just... If there's something to butcher, do it right away so it doesn't sit out here rotting, or we don't run out of, like, food or whatever. Need some more of these crops to go. <clears throat> Maybe I should put the hunting up a little bit higher. Because right now he's waiting, you know, below grow. Plant cut doesn't matter. This is just if I... I I'm, I'm never really plant cutting. But I like it to be a high priority thing. So, Assace, is you are feeding a fine meal to someone. 
who's in bed, which is good. I don't know why we're not getting food faster. It feels like we've got tons of crops, and then you're just going for a rest. All right, I'm going to put your hunt up to a uh, higher up, and I'm going to tell you to prioritize hunting this guy instead of resting. I could bring down their bed rest priority, but I think that's insane. Like, I do think that if, you're, if people are sick, they've got to go into bed rest. We really can't avoid it. And I think they're with the, the, the sleeping sickness, it did explicitly have a note about, like, make sure they get plenty of bed rest, which presumably helps you develop your immunity faster. But yeah, we'll have to make sure to explicitly throw in a couple of hunt jobs. If we see something nearby, like, I mean, flagging for hunting is one thing, but then also we'll be like, okay, well, it's nearby, so I'm just going to right-click you to go and do the hunt. It's maybe not a terrible idea. See, like, you're not actually asleep here. So, you know, let's do it. I know this is going to hurt things. I just shift-clicked, although, there you go, queued. Didn't I click on this one first? I did, I clicked on the first one without shift, and then I shift queued the second one. Oh, no, there we go. You can see both lines. It might be prioritizing things based on distance. I'm not sure. Because he keeps switching his mind as to who he's hunting, which is a little bit odd to me. But it might be a distance thing. And we might still have to give you a better gun. But I do like, like, the speed of the auto pistol does make it so that you develop your shooting skill very quickly. If we can add some grenades, that would be good. The SMG probably wouldn't be a bad idea either. But there you go. We got 20 meals. As long as we're not starving, we did grow, plant the extra crops. So more hay grass, which was probably important because it's not as high as it was before. Um, and then, yeah, more potatoes. I'm surprised, like... Add our crops here. Oh, unforbid the rat. We can have a little bit of rat in our food, right? That's going to be okay. Uh, oh, right. That door had been held open, which means we are venting the outside. Um, Alberoni, you're technically awake right now, so just come through here. So I'm not disturbing your sleep. I think you were resting in bed, but there you go. Um, and could you just clean this area here? Thanks. And then, yeah, go back to rest. Whether you're going to sleep or just resting for your, your sickness, which is what you're doing, we'll just have to deal with it. All right. Power's good. We get full batteries. They're not getting zzzzed anymore because we actually have them under a roof, which is nice to see. Colonist needs treatment. How much medicine do we have? We've got a fair amount of herbals. I mean, we could change it to prioritize the herbal, but I don't know. Was that 66% immunity? Uh, no. I mean, it was 66% quality or something, maybe. You're at minor 51, immunity 49. I assume if the sleeping sickness gets worse, A, you'll fall asleep more often, and B... Um, you might eventually die from it. So I'd actually don't know for winning the race against the Sleeping Sickness. Zeiss is not actually asleep here, although you're probably resting. There we go, some shift clicking. Hunt a few more things. But yeah, people are spending so much time asleep. Got some taters out there. Uh, stay was okay. They'll visit in a few days. All right, they're leaving. We didn't get the extra recruit, but that's all right. A little bit more mining here. Actually, our mining situation is pretty good. You're just going back. Oh, you're just relaxing. Psychic Soothe? Well, that's handy. Not that we've been having mood problems recently. But it's still nice. All the wood out here is deteriorating, but not that quickly. I don't think we have to freak out about bringing that in. Some of this... Um, Mining here was a little bit unnecessary, but we're, you know, smoothing out the things because it looks nicer. Because uh, I don't think we can build here. Yeah, it's mud. Not until we dry it out. Some people have suggested that you could floor over this stuff and then you could build it, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Like, I can't I can't floor onto the mud. There might be some terrain types where if you floor, it changes it so you can build on it. But as far as I can tell, the tile is either you can build here or you can't build here. You're cleaning this area, which may not be the best use of your time. I realize that is home zone, but it's not a it's not a room yet. I might want to just make some rooms here and turn this into indoors, even if I'm not using it for anything quite yet. Um, and yeah, I'm still thinking that this was going to be our hospital. And actually, what I think we're going to do is we are going to go and say we're going to wall this so that it's a little nicer on the inside. I think we can't build there, but we can build there. I'm going to I'm going to figure out where the door goes. 
after. I think one there and one on this side is going to be okay. Um, roofing. Oh yeah, that's all roofed, so that means it's not overhead mountain, which is good. It's all thin roof, so we're not going to get any bugs in here. That's really nice to see. We are going to want some flooring here. Now, this is going to be sterile tile. This is going to be our hospital. Uses a fair amount of material, but is well worthwhile. Uh, this is assuming I can get power in here, I just realized. Um. Okay, well, we can get it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, can, we can get power this way. It's going to be fine. Everything's okay. And actually, I guess there's no reason why I couldn't just, like, mine out more of this. Again, we can just build the wall after it to look pretty. Um, but yeah, we can do something like that. Um, there's got to be another way to get power in here. Because we can run this without popping the death room. And that connects that way. Okay. I'll still do this. Because redundant power connections are good. There you go. Cover most of it. We might want to auto-door this later for higher priority, but that's going to be okay. This is a huge room, actually. Way more than... We actually might want to split this into two. I could build a wall across here. That's an interesting idea. Because this is a really big hospital. Way more than we would probably need. So, let's say... I do this. That's still a pretty good-sized hospital, right? And then... Cancel that flooring job. I think I'm going to need to floor under the doors. Yeah. Prisoner room, maybe? That might not be a bad idea. Okay, we're going to haul the stones out of those. All right. Low food... Again, 20 meals, we don't have much in the way of raw food. Hopefully we can get some more food crops soon. And we've got nothing we can really harvest anywhere. Oh, you just had me a little friendly chat? That's nice. And you gotta go back to just your resting thing. What is this? Dead chinchilla. A uh, group of travelers... Oh, they're just passing by, so I don't think we can... Uh... Yeah, we can't have a real talk with them. It might matter if there was an attack going on, but there ain't. So you're going to carry away the stone chunks, because I did set it to high priority, which is okay. Got a panther killing some stuff. Um, all these guys can be set to hunt. The, it's a good thing we've got so much wildlife here. I don't think the panthers are really going to turn on our people very often, because there's other things for them to hunt. I think it's a lot less of a problem than our, our last little tundra start. Oh! BLC and Fabian, Fabian have come together, and now lovers. Well, hey! Now... Okay, and they automatically got their beds organized together. Nice. So we've got a spare bed now. That's the poor bed. Oh, they're both poor. Yeah, we'll have to do some, some rebuilding on that at some point. But we'll probably wait until the sleeping sickness is over. Because right now, getting everything to happen is kind of a pain in the ass. Do, 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 do. And yeah, this will be a little bit bigger too once we carve this out. Um, we might, I don't know, we might wall more of this to look pretty. We could actually just mine out this entire southern area. Why don't I, actually... You know what? Yeah, let's do it, and then we can sort of rebuild all all of it with wooden walls. That'll look a little nicer. I mean, the the the, the mountainous kind of stuff is a little bit, you know, it's fireproof, it's protected from things, but it's not particularly pretty. So, let's use up all of the space. It's going to be all right. Just haul them more of that chunks away. We've got a few blocks that we can work with, um, but not enough to like build a whole building out of it. So yeah, we're going to keep chilling out. Uh, we are out of graves so we might want to go and dig a few more Ugh. come on because god knows we're going to need them okay we'll do a little bit of that clearing the stone out of there hopefully we can get through the sleeping sickness okay 
still. We're getting the uh, the hospital set up pretty well. Um, I don't have actual hospital beds yet, but that's all right. Uh, let's go and set up one, two, three beds in here, and I am going to require that they're at least normal quality. Because the people that are in the hospital will have a fairly miserable time as is. Um, what's this? BLC is on a fire starting spree. Are you, are you a pyromaniac? You are a pyromaniac. Okay, well, we might want to force some people out of bed here. Yeah. Just to make sure the fires keep getting put out. The fire spreading, uh, setting spree is actually maybe not as bad on this map, despite all the trees and everything, is maybe not as bad on this map because we don't have one huge compound which will get overheated. It's a lot of little individual rooms. It's actually manageable. And we could like arrest him or do something, but it's okay. Did you set did you just fire to a pack of steel? I mean it must have been the grass underneath it, right? Probably. It's the only thing that makes sense, because like how do you how do you set fire to a bunch of steel? <laughs> uh low food. We gotta have 14 meals, not much raw food. Hopefully you don't kill any of our crops here. Um I'm thinking we might need to tweak the home zone over here. Because yeah, I was gonna say it's probably not that's why they're not putting it out properly, is because it wasn't all in the home zone. No longer in a fire setting spree. Yeah, see, that was fine. That's like, it's honestly less bad than a freaking sad wander or something like that. Um, certainly less bad than a berserk. On some maps, in some situations, it's really bad. But here, that was okay. We could totally manage that. All right, we'll put a cut in here. And yeah, I think that'll be prisoner room um, and the, uh, the hospital. Now, I don't know if there's something we can do to make the prisoner room, like, more, like unescapable. We actually don't need it to be this big. We could put two beds in there. Now, I mean, that'll make them cranky. But it's not so bad, really. Here, let's have the, the sort of cots being like that, actually. And again, we'll make sure they're at least normal quality. Um, can you walk through here? Yeah, just very slowly. Okay, that, that's fine then. Uh, I was just worried about blocking things off. And in terms of flooring, build the wooden floor and do that. Um, I might need lights on here faster. I don't know if like lighting affects the building quality, but just in case, who's our, one of our constructors here? A BLC who's currently asleep and Jutlander, who's not currently asleep. I'm going to get you to prioritize working on the lamp. Because maybe... Oh, a meteorite. Because uh, maybe... You will build things nicer if you've got more light. Although you got to get all the power down, too. And we've got a meteorite. A lump of silver ore. Well, hell. Yeah, let's uh, mine this chunk out. Get some more money. Where is it? Oh, quite far south. Walking to and fro might be a bit of a problem. Although, people actually use the river. Like, even with the 52% walk speed, the river turns out to be way faster at walking than other things, which is kind of amazing. Do these deteriorate? Oh, and they're nearly gone. So let's go ahead and drag those in as quickly as possible. Okay, let's put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'll see you guys next time.